My name is Jason Dombrowski, and I'm the collection manager and the coordinator for the Cornell University Insect Diagnostic Lab. And today in this video, we're going to briefly look at some of the ways to identify Asian longhorn beetle. Now, as you're probably aware, Asian longhorn beetle has been accidentally introduced into several locations in eastern North America. It's originally native to eastern Asia and was probably brought over accidentally in shipping crates. Uh, it is slowly spread from there, where the larvae live inside various deciduous trees, especially maples in our area. This species has great potential to spread across a lot of eastern North America and do some serious damage to our hardwood forest. So it's important that we're able to monitor and successfully eradicate uh, new inf infestations of this species. So first of all, how to identify it is it is a rather large insect. It's about three centimeters in length and overall is blackish with multiple white spots, as you can see at varying sizes, on the elytra or the hardened wing coverings over the abdomen. The other key character are the very long antennae, which are banded black and white. Also in fresh individuals, you may notice some bluish uh, at the bases of the legs and on the, on the tarsi. So overall, pretty simple to ID. However, there are several native species that are similar. Uh, the, there are various longhorn beetles in the genus Monocamus, mostly associated with conifers, that can look pretty similar but tend to have slightly different spotting on the elytra or not as obviously banded black and white uh, antennae on the adults. One of the common pine sawyers in the area that's often mistaken for Asian longhorn beetle is the white spotted sawyer, which overall is similar in size, but the markings tend to be much reduced on the elytra and as well, there's a distinct white scutellum, which sticks out as a white spot at the very base of the elytra. And you'll also notice that the antennae are not banded like they are in Asian longhorn beetle. The larvae of all the species are very similar. They are cylindrical, uh, fairly long with a darkish head, and can be found inside trees. If you suspect that you've found an Asian longhorn beetle, send it to your nearest insect diagnostician for a positive ID or for a a confirmation identification.